heater problems, we're all gonna die. Calm down, Cupcake. It's just the power supply. I don't have my lapel mic on at the moment, and the reason why is because I want you to hear this. What I'm gonna do is hit the power button on the heater, which of course is going to cause a rather high uh, load on the power supply. And the power supply, supply has a fan in it, and it will have to kick up to keep the power supply cool, and you will hear the bearings in, uh, in the fan start to make a bunch of rocket. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of fans. If you can't tell, I have, uh, I have a lot of fans that I have to repair from time to time. So let's, uh, let's kick this on just for a moment, and I'm going to shut the power strip off. I'm not going to let it completely start up. I just want you to be able to hear the power supply making its racket. Okay, let me shut off the power strip that's going to it, and we will uh, we will get this yanked apart so I can take it in there, get it up on the table, and dissect it. Alrighty, we have the patient here. We're going to real quick just uh, do a light dusting on it with the vacuum cleaner. have a feeling we'll be revisiting that so I'm gonna go ahead these are the two screws that hold the fan in place and since the fan is attached to the upper housing I am just gonna go ahead and pull those two that way we can just pull the top free and clear oops after we retrieve our fan screw Okay, and we're gonna have, looks like six screws to remove from around the outside of the housing here. Two more. Okay, the top part of the housing should be free. And we're gonna, our fans connected right down there. We're gonna just pull that loose. So we've got it on its own. And I'm gonna real quick run the dusting brush inside of there to get what I can out of the inside. There's a screw in there, there it is. I didn't wanna get that screw up in the vacuum obvious reasons. Doesn't have to be perfect. But get out what's feasible and don't damage anything. I guess I should have hit this real quick.
All right. All right, noisy little fan. Okay, let's peel the sticker up here and see what we find underneath. Yay! Nothing. <laughs> hmm. This is another one of those that uh, doesn't have the simple thing. I don't think that's a plug there. Although it could be. I don't think so, though. Doesn't appear to be. So this is going to be another one of those. And a little bit of play in there. Now we're just going to have to squirt a bunch of lubricant up in it. And hope that it uh, is enough to do the trick. So let me grab my silicone lubricant. And we will get to it. So uh, I got my heavy duty silicone spray lubricant. And um, we're just going to spray it down the best way we can into the little crack there. And uh, we're just going to flood it out, spin the motor, try to get as much of it in there in that bearing as possible. Because that's where our issue is at. It's going to be a dirty bearing, a dirty dry bearing. So we're going to try to remedy that. And I know you're probably not able to see that real good on camera. I can't see it real good in person, so ah, I don't feel left out. Yeah. Reattach my straw and give it another hit of that shiznit. Definitely a difference, but a little more would be nice. See if I can somehow get it on camera that way. I'm just going to soak it, right? Because that way, I know I'm getting it in the bearing. And, just to say we did, we'll give it one more shot. Steady here. There we go. Nice and free. So that should have shut that bearing up. Plug our fan back in. Trying to get it in the best position for the uh, housing there. I think it was done like this. Start one screw. Start the other screw. Top down like that. Screw started on that side. Screw started on the end. Oops. Then we'll go to this side. And reassemble the housing.
and there we have it time to reinstall it into the computer tower base of the heater and uh, see if it makes a bunch of racket or not I do not have the lapel mic on that way you can listen for the fan a little bit better so uh, we should be good to go let me uh, kick on the old power strip down here we now have power to the power supply reach over hit the power button Now I'm not hearing any of it that I heard earlier. Man, I'll tell you what. Doing all these repairs really have me considering opening up an OnlyFans account. Because it seems like that's all I have to work on anymore is fans. So, that should work, right? Upload these videos to an OnlyFans account? Anyway, um, <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully if you have fans that go bad like I do... These videos help you. Shalom.